according to the program, the girls from STS, and uh, we will have here Mary Lille. Uh, Estonia. <laughs> uh, I'm Mary, I'm from Tallinn and I'm from International Youth Association STS. And uh, I thought that I'd say also some uh, words about our organization. So we have worked already 20 years and we started in 1991 and uh, with the purpose to, to promote the news and cultural exchanges. And we work mainly with uh, youth uh, from age of uh, 16 to 26, but of course we have projects for older ones also. And about our activities, we organize work camps in Estonia and we send the Estonian volunteers to abroad. So this year we have around 43 work camps in Estonia and we also participate in the EVS program and uh, sending, hosting and coordinating organization. And we send and host around 25, 30 volunteers. And we send also people to youth exchanges, but we don't organize youth exchanges in Estonia ourselves. And of course, we take part uh, in the international conferences, seminars, trainings in abroad, and uh, organize those also in Estonia. So, uh, we take part of these conferences like we are right now, here. And I will continue then with our good examples. And I will talk about uh, one project that was uh, in Linda Kiwi Kindergarten. And the name was um, to make Linda Kiwi Kindergarten a more beautiful and happier place. Uh, it was already two years ago, but I still thought that it was a good example and I would like to talk about that and we are planning the same kind of uh, action in March again. So we have 50 participants in the age of 15 to 30. And why we did it, the purpose of our action was to help uh, because the current situation that kinder, uh, is that kindergartens, kindergarten, kindergartens were and uh, are till now underfinanced. And because of this reason, we thought to make the charity action in one of the kindergartens, what was in bad conditions. And we choose it in the area where most Russian minorities are living, in capital of Tallinn. So, our aim was to uh, assure for children and kindergarten teachers a nice and safety work and study environment. And uh, this project had also big integration purpose that young people from different cultures, backgrounds, and minority groups uh, could do something together. So, our participants uh, were, like I said, an Estonians, Russian minorities, and also we uh, had uh, some European volunteer service volunteers, to have this international team. But what we did then during these two days, after I will show you some pictures also, but uh, from in outside, we raked the leaves in the kindergarten territory. We cut down some small trees. I mean, like really small, but these big ones, <laughs> and some bushes. And we, neither, uh, we made a really nice graffiti for the children to the wall of kindergarten. And inside, we painted the walls really colorful, some pictures, and we washed the windows, made some renovation works in the rooms, and uh, we played also some international games with kindergarten children just to give, give some international atmosphere to the kindergarten. And here are some pictures. So what we did, we had also, there is this picture in the left that uh, we had also one family helping us, a young family with uh, a mother, father and two child. So as you see, you, uh, the child is doing a lot of work there. <laughs> And uh, then some pictures when we played the uh, with the children. And this is the graffiti, what we did for the children. They were really happy about that. 
the project was really successful, even though it was only two days, but uh, uh, we had uh, media attention for that, and it was uh, the children were really happy, the teachers were really happy. So this is uh, our one good example. Uh, the second one, uh, this is teenage projects. Project, uh, it's called Men Sana in Corpore Sana. Do you know what it means? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Healthy, healthy man in a healthy body. Oh. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I said it in Spanish. Men Sana. <laughs> yeah. So the project, uh, project is held in every summer. It's two weeks. And who are the participants? There are always 25 local and 25 international in the age of uh, 13 to 19. And the aim is uh, to give young people possibility to have active, healthy and meaningful summer with different sport adventures, to enjoy unspoiled nature and to learn uh, how to live in harmony with it and also how to explore and realize own capacities. And like I said before, what was the name of the project? It's uh, Mensana and Corporasana and this was the message of this camp. Uh, this camp gives also possibility to communicate with local youth and international used from abroad and uh, showing like this uh, for the youngsters the diversity of world and uh, that they could broaden their mind and encourage the communication that they will learn the language and uh, they were doing also voluntary work uh, what was uh, for nature protection and if we go more deeply then what they exactly did. They had different sport activities, uh, they had some football, they played football together, some basketball, they went swimming together, really, really, really different activities. And they also had volunteer work together. So they made some wooden toys and elements for the playground. They were cleaning local beaches and the old seaport from the garbage. They were planting trees. Uh, they did little renovation works in the local school and they were also helping uh, seniors living in the community with some household duties. And uh, this project is also, I think, it's already like five years going on and it's going to be also this year and has been also quite um, successful. Uh, and this is basically it, so it was really quick one. Do you have any questions? Oh, pictures also. <laughs> Sorry. So here you can see what they were doing um, when they are doing these wooden toys. Um, and uh, here is a picture when they are playing football. And here you can see different international people, young people together. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, come to speak to us.